What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man. I'm going to talk about Luis Ortiz, Jay Jimenez, Eddie Hearn, and Anthony Joshua. And Jay Jimenez has to be the biggest moron that I've had the that I've observed in a long time. Dog, there's a reason why you keep your, sh- your mouth shut in life, dog, before you dig yourself and your fighter in a big asshole and ruin this dude's career. Now, <laughs> Jay Jimenez is on the boxing voice, and people sent me this link after I did my live streams this morning. And I'm about to have a debate with, the, with Blood Boxing on Sunday where I am already duty bound to argue a certain logic behind uh, ducking. But Jay Jimenez throws Luis Ortiz's promoter under the bus and says that Luis Ortiz's promoter was offered, I think they said $5 million, and Luis Ortiz and Jay Jimenez, they wanted the money. They would have taken the money. But the promoter, <laughs> but the promoter was going to negotiate for more money because they figured that there was more money in the pot. And my mind is sitting, I'm sitting here thinking, listening to this, because people sent me the link. And I'm like, are you kid? Are you kidding me? Dude, what are you, Jay Jimenez? First of all, what are you doing? In, in an attempt to save face, because what I hear this guy saying throughout this whole thing, right, is that, is that Luis Ortiz really wanted to take the fight. We didn't care about the money. We just cared about the opportunity to fight for belts. But our financial backer, the promoter, wanted more money and turned down an offer from Anthony Joshua that we would have taken, but he t- they turned it down. Now, I also know that Anthony Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, is also on record saying that he was going to send out another offer to Luis Ortiz. So I'm thinking to myself, listening to this. Oh, and also Jay Jimenez said that he jumped the gun by getting, by texting that this was a low ball offer from Eddie, from Eddie Hearn. And I know, and I guess now that that tweet is removed, and I can guarantee you why, why you know why that's removed. That's removed because he should have never said anything to begin with. If you're in a negotiation, and that's one of the things that that Deontay Wilder was doing with Showtime, and one of the reasons why you don't know how much money Deontay Wilder got from Showtime, the reason you don't know that is because Deontay Wilder, Shelly Finkel, uh, Steven Espinoza, aren't telling anybody what the number is, right? And people are left to assume, people, by the way, who don't have any impact on it whatsoever, that being boxing fans, have no input whatsoever on what the what that agreement is going to be between Showtime and, and Deontay Wilder. But Jay Jimenez <laughs> jumps out there talking about a low ball offer I guess he actually even got the original number wrong from two million, but the offer was really five million. And I saw in this conversation, I'm listening and I'm like, I'm confused here. Is Jay Jimenez actually involved in the negotiations or is he not involved in the negotiations? Is it the promoter? And who's the promoter? Margulis? I think I, I looked on BoxRec to try to see who it was that was the promoter for Luis Ortiz, right? Who the, the promoter of record is. Because the PBC, people use the word the PBC on a regular basis, saying that Al Heyman is the promoter. Technically speaking, Al Heyman is not the promoter. It is, and actually speaking, it's not even technically promote. Uh, technically, that he's not the promoter. He's actually not the promoter. And I think it's this guy Warriors Boxing and Margulis that was doing did did the last couple of fight cards. Whoever this Jay Jimenez was referring to as the financial backer. Jay Jimenez is now throwing this guy underneath the bus. So you threw and to boot, he throws out, I have to assume, because he's talking about the fact that they were negotiating a wilder fight next, he throws, he, he's about to throw Al Heyman and PBC under the bus. <laughs> I'm like, man, dude, that's why you gotta shut, shut your mouth, man. Shut your mouth. So, anyway, man. There can be no, and like I said, man, hey man, when you hear something like that, dude, 
there's nothing you can say to Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn could absolutely positively had no intention on making a fight between Luis Ortiz and Anthony Joshua. I mean, yeah, he could have he could have had no no I no intention of making that fight whatsoever. And just going through perfunctory negotiations, right? And really already had somebody else in his pocket, which is I which is my which is the my gut feeling on the reaction on that. But you can't argue that that's the case relative to relative to Luis Ortiz when Jay Jimenez after it's all said and done Jay Jimenez throws everybody under the bus and I'm sitting here listening to this like what is in it for you like what are you getting what are you getting out of this you're saving you are you think you're saving Luis Ortiz's reputation you're not because everybody's going to interpret this as a duck now I have my own definition for duck right and I don't think anybody you can't I say I say, Fanon says, the Fanon definition is that you can't throw, you can't duck somebody if, <laughs> you can't duck somebody if you're not mandated to fight them or if you don't have a unification, if you're not a champion and calling for unification, right? That's my definition of duck. But on the other side of it, you can't claim that somebody's ducking you when you're out there throwing numbers around like turning down $5 million. Oh, geez. And then saying that you really wanted the five million dollars. It wasn't it wasn't that you thought it was too low or it wasn't right. It was our side that did it. Dog, let me tell you, man, Luis Ortiz, you probably don't speak English, man. But this cat, Jay Jimenez, did you more disservice than it. He did you as much disservice as he possibly could have done. Now, get this right. Now, Anthony Joshua is under no pressure whatsoever to ever fight Luis Ortiz. Ever. Not this fight, not the next fight. Not this fight, not the next fight. Okay, not the fight after that. Because now, Eddie Hearn can always say, well, you know, they admitted that they turned down that fight. They admitted that they ducked us last time, so why were we gonna make an offer for them again? Jay Jimenez, didn't you hear what Jay Jimenez said? Even if you had wanted not to take the fight, dog, you still don't go out there and say that type of crap. Now, I'm not the one really to be like in the middle of like people's PR moves and all of that crap. But God, dog, man, I'm listening to this guy like, are you are you really trying? I mean, how tight are you trying to tie this new noose around your neck? And then Nesta, the boxing voice, shout out to Nesta, the boxing voice, great interview, asking the questions he should ask. Said, well, shouldn't you be, why are you on the phone with us? Shouldn't you be on the phone trying to salvage this fight? Right? You know, where's Al Heyman in all this? And then Jay Jimenez just stops. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm not touching on Al Heyman. So like his foolishness, like his stupidity, because that's all I can call him, his stupidity ended at suicide. Okay. <laughs> His stupidity ended in suicide. Man, look, dude, shut up. Shut up. You got, now you got Anthony, you got, you got uh, Eddie Hearn out there saying, well, you know, it's really disappointing what I'm hearing about, you know, the next several fights that are supposed to be for, you know, Deontay Wilder. You know, it's it's Dominic Brazil. And then after that, it's going to be, it's going to be Luis Ortiz. And then after that, it's going to be Adam Kwinacki. So now you make now you make Deontay Wilder look like he's ducking Anthony Joshua for the next two years. When all Deontay Wilder wants is 50-50 and he can make the fight. But now, because Jay Jimenez is running, is flapping his lips like a fool, he's out there, he's out there making everybody look stupid. And it's gonna be very, very, very hard to defend it. <laughs> very hard to defend it, man. So anyway, dude. That just tells you, man, again, (laughs) if you don't know how to play the game, dog, don't play the game. What are you on? What are you doing on YouTube channel flapping your lips about what your promoter wouldn't do and almost having the interviewer throw you, throw Al Heyman into the conversation? Man, (laughs) now Luis Ortiz, what if Luis Ortiz now doesn't even get the Wilder fight? Jay, what if they're now, what what if somebody over there in the PBC is so pissed at you that you said that you did that shit and made them look bad that they don't even want to give you, they don't want to give Ortiz 
the the wilder fight because they're like, look, man, we were going to do it. But now you you out there talking and letting people know that we're in conversations with you for a fight. Nah, man, we're not fighting you next. We're going to make we're not going to prove everything. We're not going to prove you right. Wow. Anyway, man, that's what it is. So <laughs> I will not be debate. I guess I still got to debate blood boxing on this subject. But damn, J.J. Jimenez, you make it real hard on the dude, man. You make it real hard on the dude. Anyway, it is what it is, and with that, I'm out. Peace.